This man lived on the water for dozens of days. This is what he can think of. The safest way to live. At least his homies can't come here anymore. The man picks up a box from the water. It is a relief package issued by the government. Will there be any supplies inside? He opens it with hope. It's good. Just three things. One is the exhausted needle tube. One is the distribution map of zombies in the world. There is also a bracelet. This can count down a person's death. This really cares about people too much. The rations are about to last. The wife hiding from her husband. Comes to a dilapidated yacht. Rummaging around. When she is leaving. Unexpectedly. The wife's leg is bitten by a zombie. According to previous experience. She only has 48 hours left. Able to stay conscious. Even if hope is slim. The man still insists on taking her. Go ashore for medical treatment. The most painful thing in life. There is nothing better than watching your loved ones gradually die. But you can't do anything. The wound is constantly purulent. Even attracted flies. The wife is like a critically ill patient. More and more fainting and convulsions. But the man can help her share any pain. A zombie bursts out suddenly on the road. The man instinctively wants to avoid. But the car hits a tree. The branch is inserted into the wife's belly. Hasten the coming of death. And the man also faints under tremendous pressure. When he wakes up. He sees the words left by his wife in blood. Save the daughter. He pushes his wife to wake her up. Does not expect. The wife's facial features have been festered to blur. The man's arm is suddenly bitten severely. The daughter sitting behind the car. Is so scared to cry. The man knows. His zombie virus has completely changed. The child has no mother. The man tries his best to push out the wife. Then quickly rescues the child. He has been working hard to suppress his emotions. Then he can't help it anymore. He slumps on the ground and screams. He hates his inability. More worries about her daughter's future fate. The man takes up his sleeves. Seeing his bloody wound. He's not saved. He just has 48 hours left. He is not afraid of death. But the child can't even walk. Once he leaves this world. How can she survive in these last days? Adjust his mood. Pack bags. The man also installs a timer for himself. He brings the daughter and walks to the unknown distance. 48 hours. He can only have two days. He must try his best to arrange the future for the daughter. In this limited life. Even if you think about it a step further. Do one more thing. All are necessary. The man saves an uncle on the road. Follow him back to where he lives. The uncle also has a wife Lorraine. She enthusiastically takes care of the children for him. The man sees that this place is covered with barbed wire. He can be able to sleep at ease. He doesn't know yet. Sometimes alive people are more terrifying than zombies. The man is invited to hunt together. It's not wild beasts, but a bunch of zombies. A few bangs of gunshots. Zombies fall to the ground. The uncle on the side hurries to search the properties and the clothes of the deceased. Wait for the global crisis to pass. They are rich. The man is approaching the cage. He finds out. It turns out to be a living person as a bait inside. The little girl is crying in fear. The man wants to save her. But he has too many concerns. So he's still silent. The man takes out a needle and wants to commit suicide. From the time of being bitten to now. He has less than 24 hours left. Now his daughter is also taken care of. He can go with peace of mind. Lorraine appears in time to stop him. She also says that she can't protect the child. At least not before she escapes. Because she is not the uncle's wife at all. But she is coerced. The uncle is a violent maniac. In the future, they will definitely all die to this gunpoint. One by one. Unexpectedly this conversation. Has been heard by the uncle in the dark. The man is knocked out before he could react. He is locked in a cage with the little girl. The cage is full of various internal organs. The smell is quite pungent. A group of zombies is attracted. The man does not want to be their bait. He observes that the cage is not locked. It's just hold down by weight from top to bottom. The man puts one end of the iron chain to tie out carrion and throws it to the group of corpses. The other end is tied to the fence with the help of the power of zombies. Finally they open the cage. He takes the little girl and Lorraine sneak out. The uncle soon comes with a gun. Lorraine is also killed by him. Dark at night. The man hides tightly. The angry uncle shouts to the air. He can't escape. He just has to wait here for two days. Then he can see it with his own eyes. The man eats his own daughter. The man is still silent. But hearing the uncle says that sentence. That pierced the man's inner anxiety. Only a short time left. Before he really becomes a monster. So he must arrange life for his daughter. 
the little girl recommends, take a man to find her own race. There are still many survivors. They have enough people to take care of this baby. The man seems to see hope. He sets off immediately. Embark on a new journey. On the timer. It's only nine hours. He dares not stop. Because every minute and every second. Are of the essence. The man meets another family in the woods. Also a father takes his wife and children. Why don't they hide in the car? But voluntarily exposed to danger. Wait for this father to come over. The man only sees the blood on his neck. He secretly pulls out a pistol and whispers. There are still six bullets here. His family will take four among them. If he becomes a zombie. Two bullets left. It belongs to the man and his daughter. His arms twitch violently. This is a precursor to the zombie disease. In the distance. Family members are ignorant. They even play a role playing. The boy asks sweetly his father. Are they going to find the treasure? The father nods. Walk towards them with a the gun silently. In fact, his family are all healthy. But the reason for this father to kill his family is that he doesn't want to leave them alone. It's really a desperate way. The man holding the baby continues walking forward blankly. A few shots sound. He knows that family won't be painful anymore. He wickedly goes back and picks up the gun. Look at himself. Look at his daughter one more time. Maybe everything ends all here is her best result. Just when the man hesitates, the baby suddenly yells at him. Daddy. The rotten liquid is seeping from the man's eyes. He wipes his face. His vision begins to blur. But the sense of smell is getting more and more sensitive. The man looks at the carrion in the grass. An original impulse gradually rises. He breathes desperately. Forcibly suppresses his appetite. One step away. Is coming to the tribe that survived humans. He looks at his daughter. This baby is so lively. She is like a flower waiting to bloom. How could he let her die here early? The man holds on and walks a few steps forward. But he really can't support it anymore. The little girl beside has her head hurt. She doesn't have the strength to walk. She's almost dying. The man looks at the wooden stick in the girl's hand. Then looks at the rotten flesh on the side of the road again. He suddenly gets a bold idea. He wants to do the last thing for his daughter. The man ties his hands. He holds things and seals his mouth. He carries his daughter and the little girl. Tie a piece of rotten flesh to a branch. Guide himself forward. He has become a zombie. Who only knows chanting rotten flesh. He is completely. A transportation machine that never stops. The two living people and a corpse. Slowly grope in a wild land. Don't know how long it has been. They finally meet the tribe of the little girl. Everyone sees the scene all stunned. They understand in an instant. That what happened. Rotten flesh. Going forward. This father who is on the dying. Gives his daughter the last love. The tribe save the baby. Give this man the last relief. And adopt the daughter for him. Everyone get together. They enjoy a short period of tranquility and peace. The women here like this baby very much. They accidentally open the baby's clothes. Find a sentence written by a man on her belly. Thank you. This is also the last tribute left before the end of his life. Parents' love for their children must be far-reaching. Many parents can only do one thing throughout their lives. That is to provide unlimited protection for children. In their limited life. Only with the two short days. The movie shows many things. They all use their actions. To interpret their loves and courages. This is the key to human continuity. Thank you for watching. Follow my page to watch more film review.